The Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy is the most successful risk in the MCU so far. Agree or disagree? Successful. Successful. It's a key word there. And risk. Those because are the two keywords. They've made many risks and it has not been successful. I would probably agree with that statement just because it's so different in the fact that honestly it's based around a lot of music which is not like the other films and like the comedy is is different the banter and the like the way their chemistry works so well and even the f-bomb you know like even that was just like it was successful it was risky but it was successful, you know? You don't see parents on Facebook being like, oh my gosh, ah. <laughs> you know, like it was funny. It was perfectly placed. Eternals, risky, not a good choice. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just a hater of Eternals. Yeah, that one's, that one's tough. It's to, just, it's rough. I'm gonna agree with this statement as well. I think when you look at start to finish, Guardians, one, two, three, you know, there's some hiccups in number two. All three of these movies have their flaws. I think the first Guardians is just like the one that started it all. Yeah. And it actually propelled the what they call the cosmic universe or the cosmic side of the MCU. Things like Doctor Strange. Yeah. Some of those other more, you know, magical, mystical space elements were introduced to the MCU because Guardians happened. Yeah. And it was successful like going into different dimensions and galaxies before the first guardians we had iron man captain america hulk you know these stories that were just like they were all on earth it was all like either military based or something like that or smart and turned into something crazy (laughs) guardians was so outside of the box it was so outside of that realm like literally Mm -hmm. from a story standpoint and from just a filmmaking standpoint that it was risky because it, risky. it hadn't really been done by Marvel on the big screen before. Yeah. It kind of set in motion some some very interesting dynamics mm-hmm. that we actually saw in future Thor movies. Yeah. In mm-hmm. of course the Guardians were in a, a key part of the Avengers Endgame yes. storyline. Yeah. I would agree that the Guardians trilogy is the most successful risk the MCU has taken so far. The MCU is in an interesting spot with the multiverse saga right now. Uh, Kang the Conqueror is the main villain. Yeah. And they also have some new groups. Well, I say new. They're actually old. But like the Fantastic Four. Yeah. The X-Men. Yeah. Some That's crazy. familiar characters, yeah. but new faces mm-hmm. that they're going to be introducing. And those could end up being risky as well. Will they be successful? Only yeah. time will yeah. tell. I think a lot of people can agree with the statement that Yes, the Guardians was risky, and MCU definitely put themselves out on the ledge with mm-hmm. that trilogy, and even with James Gunn. I think he did great, and I don't know what else he's done, but... He was the man for the job. But he did a great job. And he got it done. <laughs> he so, did three movies, we'll see, and he's out. Maybe all of us will just hop on over to DC. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, click the video on your screen, and I'll see you all in the next one.